A top story. A day after the landmark elections in Taiwan, with DPP's Lai ching te being voted in as president-elect, definite signals emerge of China unhappy with the developments. Beijing has warned Taipei that a reunification with Taiwan is inevitable. Taiwan, in response, has asked China to face the reality. The Chinese military has released pictures of missile boats conducting live fire drills in areas. Taiwan's Ministry of National Defense detected four PLA Navy vessels in the vicinity of the island in the early hours of Sunday. China has said it strongly deplored a statement by the United States on Taiwan's, re -elect on Taiwan's election after Washington congratulated independence leaning Lai ching te on his victory in the self-ruled island's presidential elections. Taiwan's Ministry of Foreign Affairs called on Chinese authorities to respect the election results, give up suppressing Taiwan and face reality to bring positive cross-strait interactions back on track. China's own Taiwan Affairs Office has slammed the outcome of the election, stating that the island nation's ruling Democratic Progressive Party does not represent mainstream public opinion. In a statement published on its official website, Chen Binhua, a spokesperson for China's State Council Taiwan Affairs Office, said the results showed the Democratic Progressive Party cannot represent mainstream public opinion on the island. The statement follows an earlier comment that branded President-elect Lai as a threat to peace. The Chinese embassy in Japan has expressed discontent in response to a congratulatory message to Taiwan from Japanese Foreign Minister Yoko Kamikawa. The embassy stated it was resolutely opposed to Kamikawa's comments, which called the self-governed island a crucial partner and an important friend, further adding that the statement were a serious interference in China's internal affairs. While leaving the White House for Camp David, the presidential lodge in Maryland on Saturday, U.S. President Joe Biden stated that the United States does not support Taiwanese independence. Biden's statement comes in the wake of previous comments wherein the American president vowed to safeguard the island's de facto independence from China. U.S. Secretary of State Anthony Blinken congratulated Taiwan's president-elect Lai ching te hailing the robust democratic system and electoral process of the self-ruled island. On the other hand, the Russian foreign ministry reaffirmed Moscow's view of Taiwan being an integral part of China. British Foreign Minister and former Prime Minister David Cameron also congratulated Taiwan, calling it a vibrant democracy and conveying hope that both sides of Taiwan's strait work towards resolving differences peacefully. The European Union has also welcomed the results of Taiwan's presidential election. President-elect Lai ching te addressing supporters after his two opponents conceded defeat, thanked the Taiwanese people for writing a new chapter in their democracy, vying to defend the self-ruled island from Chinese intimidation. Through our actions, the Taiwanese people have successfully resisted efforts from external forces to influence this election. We trust that only the people of Taiwan have the right to choose their president. Lai, who has been serving as the vice president, delivered an unprecedented third consecutive term for the DPP after a raucous campaign in which he pitched himself as the defender of Taiwan's democratic way of life. Lai has won 40% of the vote through Taiwan's first past the post system, unlike outgoing President Tsai Ing-wen, who was re-elected by a landslide four years ago with over 50% of the vote share. This may hinder Lai and the DPP in passing legislations this term. We are telling the international community that between democracy and authoritarianism, we will stand on the side of democracy. Taiwan will continue to walk side by side with democracies from around the world. 